There are literally thousands of AI tools, but learning how to use them can take up your precious time and energy. So how do you know which ones are actually worth the effort of the learning curve? Whether you're looking to start exploring the AI world, or maybe you're low on funds for outsourcing, or you just want to gain your time back, there are AI tools that you need to know about. But I've done the heavy lifting for you, and I have put them all together in this video so that by the end of it, you can pick your favorites based on what your pain points are. And the best part is, all of these tools are either free or have free versions, so you can save your hard-earned cash. I've left chapter markers along the bottom here so you can skip to the tools that you're the most interested in learning about. And before we dive in, let me know what part of content editing takes you the most time. Maybe there will be a tool for you in this video, but I also know of a ton of others that we won't cover, so perhaps I have a suggestion and can help you out. So let me know in the comments. Now let's head over to the desk and get started. If you don't want to spend money on hiring actors or presenters for things like talking head videos or training videos or even educational videos. Synthesia focuses on creating AI driven video avatars that speak in multiple different languages and accents. If you're looking for help with messy audio files, like maybe you hear echo in a speaker's track on a podcast episode, or maybe you recorded with the wrong microphone and have really poor audio quality. Riverside's AI producer tools are going to save your butt. Magic Mute will mute an audio file whenever the speaker is not speaking. Magic Audio will use AI to enhance audio to studio quality. Set Pace is going to cut out as much or as little silence from the video as you want, allowing it to be more snappy. And Smooth Speech is going to remove filler words and unwanted sounds. Like maybe you hit your microphone during recording, it will take that out. Or maybe you say um a lot, it'll take that out as well. Riverside also has some other cool tools that will help you out and we'll get to those shortly. If you're looking for a library of helpful AI editing tools, Runway ML is what you're searching for. Check out ones like Remove Background to remove your background or blur it or replace it. I just tried out this Runway ML tool and it turned my background to this. It's pretty cool, right? So you've probably seen this Ask Meta AI button on your Facebook and your Instagram. This is Meta's version of ChatGPT and is built into all of Meta's apps. But they also have a web-based version. So you can use this for generating GIFs. Like maybe you need a specific animated image in your content. Meta AI has real-time image generation. So you would start your prompt with imagine and then start typing the image you want to see. As you type and delete text, the image changes in real time. When it's done, select animate and it will turn it into a custom GIF that you can use as like B-roll or a social media post. This one is going to blow your mind. So have you ever recorded something and then you realize that you forgot to record that one part? Well, instead of setting up your recording setup all over again, you can use Riverside's AI voice tool, which will clone your voice so you can generate content just from text. This opens up the door to even repurpose things like blog posts into audio files or audiograms. I actually have a whole video on how to do this in a five minutes. So I'll link that above if you're interested. Like, how cool is this? I just generated my own voice with AI. Do you think it sounds like me? Let me know in the comments. And if you're liking this video so far, hit that thumbs up button to let me know. You know when you want to find music for something, like a podcast introduction or background music for a YouTube video? Mubert will allow you to generate music or jingles with just AI prompts. You just describe the vibe, the rhythm, the essence of what you're looking for, and Mubert will craft it for you, and you can get really particular with how things sound. Like the background music that you're hearing right now and have been hearing for a little bit, I completely generated it with AI using Mubert. If you wanna learn from top performing videos to see what they're doing well so you can replicate it, Google Gemini can actually watch the content of YouTube videos, analyze them, and tell you what you need to know. So you can tag YouTube and prompt it to find the top videos on AI editing tools for example, and then say, tell me about video two. Why did it perform so well and why is engagement so high? What are some editing takeaways that I can implement on my video about AI tools? Oh, that's cool. I'm just gonna take some of the techniques and use it on this video. You know how you need to have clips from your long form content to share out, right? 
Finding the perfect clips can be super time consuming, especially if you have to sift through hours of footage. With Riverside's Magic Clips feature, you can generate viral worthy clips from your long form content with AI based on your length and topic specifications. Then you can edit those clips in the text-based editor and have them match your style and branding. What is a text-based editor? This means that your video or audio file is transcribed and you can just edit the content just by editing the text. So you can easily take out parts from videos or audio by just highlighting the text and then deleting it. And remember how I told you about AI voice earlier, you can actually add AI voice through text directly into your content. If you want to try out a Riverside for free, I will link it in the description. Okay, this is our last tool. This one is really cool. It's one thing to create amazing videos, but what if you want to reach a more global audience by translating them into different languages? Heijen Labs va a traducir tu video e incluso adaptar los movimientos de tu boca para que coincidan con las palabras. Es como, esto es un poco extraño, ¿verdad? Pero es tan genial. De hecho, hemos probado esto con algunos de nuestros videos de mejor rendimiento en el canal de YouTube Riverside. Los hemos traducido al español para permitir que lleguen aún más lejos. We have covered a lot of ground today. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of AI tools out there just waiting to be explored. And the best part is, you do not need a huge budget to get started. Just remember that the key is to identify your pain points and then find the tools that can help you overcome them. If you like doing something and you're good at doing something, you're probably better than AI. So really just look for the tools that are gonna help your pain points. And then make sure to experiment and see what works best for your workflow. Now, let me know in the comments below what tool you're the most excited to try and if you have any questions about the tools that we covered today. This video might leave you wondering, will AI eventually take over editing jobs? I've got a whole video on that topic. I'm gonna leave it here for you to watch next if you're interested, but I'm also going to leave a whole playlist of videos about AI tech